Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to look at how to analyze multiple response survey data where the responses appear in multiple columns and each selection is coded as true or false where true means that option was selected and false means otherwise. We are also going to look at how to summarize this multiple response data uh, in a pivot table and we'll be able to divide the number of responses by the number of respondents inside the pivot table. So for this kind of multiple response survey data, uh, the responses, uh, depending on how you specify your multiple response question, uh, often will appear as column names with the question or the question code. In our case, the first column, we have feature phone. Second one, we have a smartphone in that order. So how do we handle this? So once you have your data, uh, you go to data, from data, you go to from table or range and open it in Power Query. So the next thing is to select all the multiple response columns that you have for that question. So here we have all these columns as the multiple response columns. So once you select it, you go to replace values. So what we want to do is to replace all the false entries by now. So what it means is that since we know that when it's coded as false, that option wasn't selected. Um, we will configure it such that Power Query we identify it as now. So from here, you go to transform, transform and pivot uh, only selected columns. So when we do this, we have two columns added. The next thing you have to do is to clean out the attributes column such that we want to have only the responses. So what we do is that we'll copy all other parts of the uh, entry in the attribute column. In this case, it's in a question. And we select the attribute column, go to replace values, and replace this part. So when we do this, we have our multiple response options. So this is our multiple response column that we are going to use to summarize in pivot table. So um, the attribute, the value column, we don't need it, so we remove this. And then we go to home, from home, close and load, and we add this to our data model. So what we want to do is to generate a pivot table report in an existing sheet. In this case, we want to have the result in the analysis sheet. So we have it here, and then the pivot table will show up. So when we look on the right, the last variable that we have is the unpivoted multiple response column. So we pick this and drop it in rows. So we want to count this by the IDs of the respondents. So we pick this and put it in the values. For by default, pivot table will summarize it by sum, but we want to count. So we right click and select summarize values by count. When we look at the grand total, it gives us 74. So this 74 is the number of responses. But what we want to do is that we want to divide the number of responses by the number of respondents who answered that multiple response question. So if we divide by 74, it doesn't make reference to the number of respondents who answered that question. So what we do is that we right click again and now summarize values by distinct count. And this gives us 50. So this 50 is the number of respondents in our survey and all of them answered this multiple response question. So now we can now show values as percentage of this grand total, which is the number of respondents who answered this question. And that gives us the result for our multiple response survey data. And that's it.